Hello and thank you for joining. Today I am going to focus on the title of the great sign of Jesus return. I'm going to focus on the chapter of Matthew 24 verse 30 through 34. I'm going to just stay right there. I do ask that you read the whole chapter, but I want to focus on this part because this is one of the greatest signs that will be. However, a lot of the teachings sometimes lately is talking about what precedes this time that I'm referring to. I want to focus on this part because this is one of the signs that those who are still here, when he returns in the midst of all that's going on, that they are the ones that's going to see this in real time. The rest of us have an awareness of what's going on preceding these times because Jesus told us, however, we live in the time right now of the beginning of the issues that Jesus told us. It is not the end yet, but it's the beginning of that period that's going to lead to the end verse 30 tells us though it says and then at last the sign that the son of man is coming will appear in the heavens <clears throat> it says and then at last the sign that the son of man is coming will appear in the heavens so there is a sign Okay, that the Son of Man is coming. This sign will appear in the heavens. When this sign comes, okay, it says, and there will be deep mourning among all the peoples of the earth. And they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send out his angels with the mighty blast of a trumpet. And they will gather his chosen ones from all over the world, from the farthest ends of the earth and heaven. Let me start right there. Now, without any understanding of this part, it is the assumption that it's, there are going to be those who belong to the Lord during his time in the earth that are just people who gave their lives all right and that's it however the book of revelation gives us a little give us a little bit more understanding that there are going to be a certain amount of people who has a mark on them that belongs to god they are going to be spread it out because they come from the 12 tribes of israel Okay, there's going to be 144,000 in all, meaning 1,000 from each tribe. They're going to be covered during this time of tribulation. So with that being said, when Jesus comes back, he's going to gather them. He said, and he will send out his angels with the mighty blast of a trumpet. And they will gather his chosen ones from all over the world, from the farthest ends of the earth and heaven. So, if you read Revelation, you will see where they're going to be chosen ones, which comes from the 12 tribes of Israel. Again, a thousand from each tribe, totally 144,000. They must be the chosen ones that this passage is speaking of in Matthew. Now, you see that Matthew took an account of what Jesus said to them. But Jesus actually gave John his revelation. All right. Now, the Apostle John breaks it down more than what this passage says here from what Jesus told um, the disciples that Matthew took an account of. So that's so important to know because it doesn't say those living in the earth who just gave their lives to Jesus. And um, it doesn't mean that people won't give their lives to Jesus. However, 
from this here, it doesn't tell us that the chosen ones are those who get saved during this dispensation. Because right before that, it tells us that um, there will be deep mourning among all the peoples of the earth. But of course, there's not going to be deep mourning of those who are chosen because they are marked for God's purpose. And they're going to be scattered out around parts of the earth. All right. So it says again, that last part. And they will gather his chosen ones from all over the world, from the farthest ends of the earth and heaven. Now, learn a lesson from the fig tree. When its branches bud and its leaves begin to sprout, you know that summer is near. In the same way, when you see all these things, you can know his return is very near, right at the door. I tell you the truth. This generation will not pass from the scene until all these things take place. Heaven and earth will disappear, but my words will never disappear. Okay, that part. Now, this last part, 36, I'm going to read, and it says, However, no one knows the day or hour when these things will happen. Not even the angels in heaven or the Son himself. Only the Father knows. So, be very careful of videos that give you some type of try to give you some type of idea of when Jesus is going to return okay or when these events well yeah these events happen because these events gonna happen at his return but he said no one knows that they know when these things will happen so we may have an idea because we have some signs, but we don't know when that particular event or those events that he just said prior to that is going to happen. Only the Father knows. So please keep that in mind because when you're watching some of these videos that are referring to the end times, we still know for surety that it's going to happen in God's timing. And he gives us a glimpse of what is to come. But again, he doesn't say specifically the when. Because he wants everyone, obviously, from the readings to be ready when he comes regardless. All right? So that's the focus. Just prepare for his coming either way. And if you do that, then eventually of course you will have full understanding when you're with him you will have more understanding like the apostle paul told us right now we we know in part we prophesy in part but you know once we are in the presence of the lord for eternity then of course revelation and understanding will be more available to us but right now we are limited and we just have to accept what God has given us, not read into it, not add anything to it, not take it away, anything from it. Just accept what he's given us and stay in relationship with him so that when he comes, you will not be we will not be disappointed. Um, with that being said, it's so important. Again, I didn't tell you where to go in Revelation because I'm only going to tell you part of it. You want to read it for yourself. You want to read the book of Revelation because the book of Revelation and this part uh, in, in Matthew, the, chap the whole chapter of Matthew 24 is very interesting because it is just a small part of Revelation that John had given to him by Jesus. So I hope these words have found you well. And until the next time you sit with me, God bless you. Enjoy your tea.